Greetings, ghouls. Welcome to Deadsville Horror Talk. I'm your host, Rodan James, and to my left, the lovely Steph Infection. <laughs> hey, Scream Hearts. Tonight, we're talking Scream 6. And it's going to be a spoiler-filled review, so get ready. I think it gets a little bit stabby. A little stabby. A little bit about us. I am Ronan James. I am a veteran stunt coordinator and currently director and producer here at Deadsville Productions. To my left, Steph Infection is my co-producer, partner in crime here at Deadsville Productions, and actress, dance choreographer, production manager. Uh, what else have you done? Wardrobe, Quite a few hats. lots of hats for yeah. Steph Infection. And tonight we are reviewing Scream Six, which if you haven't seen it yet, you can see it on Paramount Plus or in the movie theaters. It is the next installment of the Scream franchise. The survivors of the Ghostface killings leave Woodsboro behind and start a fresh chapter in New York City. Hmm. Sounds, Sounds familiar. A little bit. Hmm. Scream 6 takes place a year after the events of Scream 5, and we are following our four Woodsboro survivors as they have gone off to college in the Big Apple. Scream 6 is directed by the duo known as Radio Silence, consisting of Matt Bertinelli Open and Tyler Gillette. They have done previous movies, uh, Ready or Not, and they also directed Scream 5. Scream 6 is written by James Vanderbilt and Gary Busick, based on characters created by Kevin Williamson. And we have some returning cast and some new cast returning. We have Courtney Cox as Gal Weathers, Melissa Barrera as Sam Carpenter, who we know from the last one as Billy Loomis' daughter. Yep. Yeah. Jenna Ortega, who's literally in everything now, I feel like. Tara plays Tara Carpenter. Jasmine Savoy Brown as Mindy and her brother Chad, who is played by Mason Gooding. Cuba Gooding Jr.'s son, side note. Mm -hmm. Found that out today. The only other returning one for all six movies, which I didn't know, and I guess you saw this, but Roger Jackson is the voice of Ghostface in all the films. Uh, we also had Hayden Panettiere. Oh, yeah. As Kirby. As Kirby. Yeah. From uh, Scream 4? Four? Four, and five. Four and five. And then Dermot Mulroney is also in this. Uh, he plays the uh, the police detective on the case, and he's a longtime veteran actor. Probably my one of my favorite and most played out VHSs was My Best Friend's Wedding with Joy oh. Roberts, which yeah. her niece is one of our previous killers. That's kind of. See, for me, <laughs> for me, young, uh, young Guns, Dirty Steve would be my first uh, Dermot Mulrooney. Never heard like, of it. That's what, young Guns with Emilio Estevez, and the, the Western where they... I had, know it. No, now I know it, but Emilio I've never Estevez, seen it. And, and, no, I've never oh seen it. Oh, my God. Mm -mm. Oh, my God. Have Kiefer you ever Sutherland seen My Best Friend's and, Wedding? No, that's a chick flick, and I have not watched My Best Friend's Wedding. Thank you. <laughs> I watch westerns, Young Guns. No. If you've seen Young Guns, comment. Dermot Mulrooney was Dirty Steve. Our girl Samara Weaving mm -hmm. makes an appearance. Yeah. And uh, I, I don't know. I found her appearance a little unbelievable. But but hey, she's I, in there. And she has obviously worked with this uh, directing crew before on Ready or Not. So you know, it kind of makes sense that they yeah. would bring her in and work with her again and give her that, give her that spot. I think her part was very believable, unlike you. <laughs> We'll get to it yeah. soon, because we're going to jump to spoilers quick today. All right, let's go with our first takes. We'll give our early no-spoiler reviews. This is our first take. Ladies first, Steph. Yeah, Infection. I'm always first. I thought it was a lot of fun. I thought there were moments that I actually got a little teary-eyed at one point. And I went to, which we know when I get scared, I cover my ears because I don't want to hear it's happening. That happened about three or four times. Cool kills, cool shots, but a lot of issues that I was very angry at also, and I did not agree with. But uh, overall, I think it was a lot of fun, and I'm sure we're in for more at some point because it's a franchise. Mm -hmm. It's own, its own world. So I liked it overall, yeah. Yeah, I agree. It was a lot of fun. Um, 
I've watched it three times now, mm -hmm. and the more I watch it, the more plot holes jump out at me. As I've watched the third viewing, and you and I sat with you. And <laughs> I he's the worst person to watch a movie with that he's already seen. Yeah, um, uh, it's not even just like oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You gotta, you gotta watch this part right here coming up. No, it's him cursing about something that's about to happen, and then because I have to I'm pause piecing it. together, and I'm like, wait a minute, this doesn't add up. So we're I gonna set get him to that. out for a little bit. Let's say that. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get to that in the non-spoiler section because I found even more to pick apart. If you saw my other reviews, I did the one-minute review, no spoilers, and then I did two spoilery things I hated. Uh, in our in my shorts in my reels mm -hmm. and uh, now we're going to get in depth and I'm going to give you a lot more instances we'll go to more clips and uh, and stuff like that and and, and, and I'm going to point out some more inconsistencies which is going to make it sound like I didn't like the movie and that is not the case at all no. I really did enjoy the movie yeah. and it is a very uh, fitting uh, addition to the franchise it was good to get out of Woodsboro, Woodsbury, Woodsboro, Woodsboro, Woodsboro for uh, for a little bit. It was good to get into New York, uh, even if it was a little derivative of Jason goes to Manhattan, Jason takes Manhattan. I, well, and they make plenty of nods to Jason takes Manhattan in this. Jason takes Manhattan is playing on TV in one of the scenes. Uh, I didn't is, even notice is, that. You didn't catch it? Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, the film student. The young film student. Oh, when he... Yeah, 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 yeah. In the beginning. So, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, Jason Takes Manhattan is playing even... on, the, on, the, uh, on, the, on the TV in there. And there are some other nods and stuff as well. We'll get to some Easter eggs that were pretty fun in there. Yeah. And overall, it was a really fun movie. It's just that there is... And this kind of happens... This, there was stuff that pissed me off in the last screen, too, that, that I was just like, that's not even physically possible. And I know it's a movie, I know. But the first, like, at least three that I can remember, four I'm a little hazy on, um, the first three I remember, that it was actually still believable. There right. was a lot of it, even though there was comedy, it was, there was believable. Yeah, I mean, that's Kill why I like... Was the view, believable getting away and, and mm -hmm. so on. Yeah, and we'll get into why some of the earlier ones were a little more believable than what, we're, what we just watched now. But, but overall, I really enjoyed the movie. It kept me on the edge of my seat. Uh, the, the pacing was great. Like it, it, As soon as it started moving, it chugged along, man, and it just kept going. It barely let you breathe. Um, I like that. This is like the second movie in a row where it was just like, man, it's just like with, like with Evil Dead uh, Rock. I know, I know. I was just going to say. It gets right into it and just goes, well, goes, goes, that's man. Uncom was, they're not really comparable, and the goes, goes, goes. But... I will well, say. I just meant that, with, I mean, like, the tension rate. and everything, everything yeah. is like, like, they don't waste a lot of time getting to the meat of the story, and 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 once they do, it just keeps rolling along. Which, I have, to, which to, I have to talk about, too. we got to get, one, once once we dig a little deeper, yeah, i got to sure. get into that. All right, well, yeah, at any rate, my first take is I really enjoyed it, and uh, even though I'm not a fan of the ending. I will say that without giving a spoiler, I did not like the way the movie ended, and I had some uh, issues with some creative choices made throughout. But as a movie, a popcorn slasher flick, yeah, it was a good one. Yeah, and, and, I, and I would definitely recommend watching, it, especially now that it's on uh, Paramount Plus. Yeah, if you have Paramount Plus, definitely go. All right, Scream Hearts. If you haven't seen the movie and you don't want to hear any spoilers, hit pause and come back to us later. Because we are going to dig deeper right now. I got to say, I commend them for trying to do some stuff different. Yeah. In this one. Um, let's talk about the opening and the, the whole intro and opening and, and our introduction to New York. With uh, Samara. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, that whole in, uh, intro with Samara weaving. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, so like right off the bat, the phone's ringing and they they kind of give us a a quick head fake at the like right before as the as the as the the company's title card fades, we get the sound of a phone of a restaurant and or we bar. fade in on a phone on a restaurant bar being picked up and oh yeah and, uh, and then it pulls away from it like oh faked you out ha ha you thought you were gonna get ghost face right off the bat and we faked you out mm -hmm. but it wasn't far off because yeah. we pan down through the restaurant and we see sexy Samara weaving at the bar and her phone starts ringing. Mm -hmm. Well, she was texting 
first, texting, Reggie. Yes, correct, yes. And it seemed like a dating app of some sorts where she's, you know, texting and he's like, I'm lost. And immediately, immediately I was like, oh, this is a 2023 spin on exactly what would happen. Um, and, you know, she then starts, she, he calls her, he's embarrassed. He's, he's lost. He's lost. What, what, what does it look like outside? She starts... I'll go outside and wait for you. We yeah, see where she, this is don't going. Don't forget, she also mentions during this conversation, because she, yeah, he calls her talking on the phone, and she mentions that she teaches, or she's a... Uh, she's a, like a slasher film instructor, it yeah, sounds yeah, she's, like. She's, she's, a, a, she's like horror. a student teacher yeah. or something like that. Like, not an actual professor, like a assistant, professor, I assistant think professor she or something. I think that's a, a word she used. Did yeah. it really bother you that much? Yeah, it did. Mm -hmm. Assistant, <laughs> she's like an assistant professor or something, and and she teaches uh, her her courses slashers. Yeah. So. Uh, very fitting. Yeah, very fitting, but also very head scratching. Cause why would you want to kill somebody like that? Or no, well, yeah, I would. She's super hot and like. Well, we know how you feel. Movies, so why would you want to kill somebody like that? But no, no, <laughs> I'm scratching my head because. <laughs> Because what happens next is a bit mind-boggling. I mean, I know we have to go through it because it's a movie and all. This was actually she just most... falls for this. Like, no, that was sinker. that was very believable to me because I've been on the phone. With some, where are you? Uh, okay, I'll come outside. Do you see me? Now I wouldn't have walked Walk down, down the, the alley. Scary alley. Walk down the alley. But scary alley. That down was the, the dumpsters. Most... Hey, come on down. Did you see me by the dumpster? No, you don't see anybody. That come on. That man. was a little bit. But she was also. Just you just don't think that you're gonna have like, a serial killer like on the loose. So yeah, uh, yeah. Don't don't go walking down dark strange alleys. dark alleys, which is weird. Why doesn't anyone ever hear like people getting stabbed? I guess it happens. I mean, well, it, Jack the Ripper like got away Halloween, with it for how long? There was a so. lot of Halloween parties going on. If That's you true. Yeah, there's, like, I do, people yeah. in costumes mm -hmm. running around. That was the whole thing. It's like. Halloween. This is all taking place around Halloween in New York. That was really good. Too. So I like that's that. a good, yeah, it's a good way to to add uh, add to the the possibilities mm -hmm. for suspense and and for like the cat and mouse game that they have going. Uh, because now that was one of the things. Like, like jumping a little bit ahead, so we'll we'll circle back. But once the killings start happening and people are like, "Oh, ghost face mask was found at the scene." They and all even, start wearing everybody ghost Everybody starts face. wearing ghost face masks. So Why now not? everybody on the street, and they're running from ghost face. It is a very good uh, plot device to to add uh, a lot of tension and and opportunities for scares. And so Samara Weaving goes down the alley and ghost face stab 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 stab, and she's our first. She's our sacrificial lamb, our opening scene, mm -hmm. sacrificial lamb. Another thing that, that happened in the opening that we haven't seen before was right after he stabs the shit out of Samara oh. Weaving, he walks away and takes his mask off, and we see the killer unmasked at the very beginning of the movie. And what did I say? I was like, well, every scream has a lot of killers, so <laughs> it's always, it always more, more than, than one. one. <laughs> True. Always but it was it was very odd to see that not play out later. So well, and yeah, he was kind of like a he's like a dorky film student. We come to find out as we follow him back to his apartment. He's a he's the one watching Jason takes Manhattan. He's the one watching Jason takes Manhattan when he gets back to his apartment, and uh, he's a dorky film student. And mm -hmm. uh, we find out that Samara Weaving was his uh, teacher, was his professor. She was he was in his in her class. Mm -hmm. And that mm -hmm. him and sounds like roommate or friend were killing people together and they only were... doing it together. But he did this one on his own and Yeah, so while uh, yeah, we get a we get a phone call. The phone rings, the roommate isn't there and the phone rings and now we get uh, The real the real real killer. Yeah. Well, who we were, there's never a real ghost no, face. Just, ghost face is just an entity. But yeah, just this is the final the ghost face that we'll come to know for the rest of the movie, and uh, and he's playing like he's the roommate. There's a little cat and mouse over the phone there. I'm using the voice changer just because mm -hmm. I'm trying to practice. Blah blah blah. Yeah, and it's a good scene. I'm and, dead in the fridge. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the the warmer, colder game. We find out the uh, roommate is dead in the fridge, head off, 
And then the big menacing ghost face is uh, on top of our dorky film student and, and gutting him like a fish and kind mm -hmm. of repeating back to him the stuff that he said about killing Samara Weaving and you know, yeah. of, you know, turning yeah. that back on him. And it's a good scene. It's pretty brutal, pretty mm -hmm. effective. All right, so we'll jump to the therapist scene. Mm -hmm. you wanna... uh, so Sam is not opening up to her therapist. He starts to push her a little bit. You got to open up to me, tell me. And then she kind of unbears her soul to him very quickly where she is the illegitimate daughter of a serial killer. Her last boyfriend was a serial killer. She killed him, stabbed him, what, 22, 22 times, times and slit his throat or something. So and, and shot him in the head. And shot him in the head. But she's not there for that. The reason she's there is because she liked it, is what, uh, the kind of what it she said. Right, it, felt right. it felt right. It felt right. Yeah. Because of the Billy Loomis. And... The Billy blood. Yeah. And then uh, this therapist was like, yeah, I got to... No, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Time to go. Goodbye. We're Check, done for the please. day. <laughs> and, and, you know, she says, you're all the same. She basically... They're all kind of scared of her. Everyone's scared of her, and she's just trying to get some help. She leaves. Yeah, well, the one thing we do find out here, too, is... Uh, and this is an important plot point. After the events of Scream 5... Somebody, uh, everything at first gets released, and and Sam's like a hero because everybody said that uh, that Richie was the killer, and Richie and his girlfriend killed all these people. Da da da. Well, after uh, somebody starts an online rumor that that was all bullshit, and that oh, Sam yeah. was actually the murderer, and that Richie was innocent, and it like picks up, and there's like this whole subplot of the whole like internet hates her like they like destroying her character and and yeah and like like she has a, a confrontation in the street with a chick that throws a drink on her and calls her a murderer in the middle of new york because yeah. you know her face is all over the internet and everybody's saying well not everybody well slowly more and more people uh, and it turns out that the whole thing was started by one of the one killers. of the ghost faces they started and this yeah. online fucking smear campaign mm -hmm. to get the uh and they make a note that it was very easy because guess what all it takes is one internet troll to spread some hate and some lies and it picks up because people like drama so they they want to they want the conspiracy well, people like to, and people like to see heroes fall people like that negativity too. we yeah. all we experience it here firsthand mm -hmm. <laughs> oh well then we get the party scene right mm -hmm. and we're at the party and Tara's trying Tara's to... Tara's drunk. Yeah, and, you know. Yeah, Tara's at the party and drunk, and she's about to... Go upstairs with a boy and her friend. Not friends. just any boy, man. This dude is Captain Date Rapist. I mean, he is they Captain... They called him Date Rape whatever is it, Date Frankie? Rape Frankie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Date Rape, he's got the pink popped collar. Of course he has a weenie shirt, name. <laughs> and he is like, oh, I got a bottle of Fireball upstairs. Of course you've got Fireball Upstairs, Chad. You should have been Chad. No, there is. I know. With he should have been Chad. I don't know. They how did the, make a Chad joke I, at one point. Yes, which I, they did. Yeah. Which you I, know, I enjoyed. I did too. But he should have been. He was the Chad at the movie. Date rape, Frankie. Moving on, we start getting into some actual ghost face uh, kills. Yeah, like and instantly. Ghost face in this was like super brutal, very physical, very angry, very violent. I liked him in this, much like uh, much like Michael Myers in those last Halloween movies, right? And he was pretty brutal. The Halloween ends, like he was like moving fast, and there wasn't like you know he was like attacking dudes in the hall. Same thing with this, like uh, Ghostface is pretty brutal. He's pretty like well, efficient. Yeah, I will say like after that party scene, we go back, and she's mad that she made her leave, and you know all that stuff um, for not kind of letting her be her own woman. Then they see on the news that the two two film students were film killed, students and here. Sam wants to leave. She wants to pack up. She just wants to leave. Like, let's get the f out of here. Tyra doesn't want to. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving school. And yeah, her uh, first instinct is to run. That's the protective instinct. Yeah, yeah, because she knew exactly what it was. And guess what? She ain't wrong. Nope. So uh, when Ghostface kind of like hits the ground running. Um, what what's our first he, they go outside and she sees her ex dead boyfriend's phone number calling her so after uh yeah yeah so we got jason's uh 
They learn the, on the news about Jason and Greg's death and the teacher mm -hmm. Laura's death. And as uh, Sam's preparing to leave, they get a phone call from uh, Quinn's dad and they found the license at the murder scene. Oh, that's right. That's right. So that's, that's right. kind of okay. how it starts. Uh, and they're leaving the yeah. check and see they're leaving the uh, station when they get the call. Yep. So as Sam and Tara start to walk to go down and talk to uh, the cops, that's when they get the call. Uh, they get the phone call from Richie's number. It's the dead ex-boyfriend from yeah. part five, mm -hmm. Richie. And that's a hint. It's a hint. So. Which I just, even, I said, I was like, that's weird that it happened more than once, but okay. Yeah, and when she answers the phone, it's Ghostface, and he's saying she's responsible for the murder spree and saying she's going to pay, and he's pissed, and mm -hmm. he's going to make sure that the world knows the, who she really is, and then all of a sudden, he's right behind them. Ah! Yeah. And do we think that there's more than one yet? No, it's still the beginning. It's still just one, right? Still just still one. Still just one. And, uh, and so then they go into the bodega. Yeah, they're running away, and, and... And we get our, you know... This is what I... Uh, this is our, probably our first big a big set piece. Which... Aside from the opening, is a nice little set piece. But this is a nice set piece here. Basically, uh, if you're still with us, you've seen it. So let's just say he came in and just started killing people left and right. And there was a lot of people in there. Oh, the bodega was insane. It was jam-packed. It was... Uh, it's... Uh, like, he, like, that's where you see ghost faces. Like You're like, man, this dude knows what the fuck he is doing because there are big ass big ass men who step up right up to him when these girls run in and they're like oh my god someone's trying to kill us and these guys get in, and he is just like boom and taking these guys out Gun, with efficiency shotguns and, everything yeah, yeah. The, the dude the guy pulls a shotgun from behind the counter and he ducks it and uh and of course Oh, the back door's locked, and the guy fumbling for the keys. Of oh, course. I knew he was dead. Instead in the of, you know, yeah. what kind of, you got a no. gun, and there's a killer loose in the store. Don't fumble for your fucking keys. Go and stand in front of the girls with the fucking shotgun. Don't try and hand it. Run out the back. No, get in front and fucking protect them, man. You got the fucking shotgun. Yeah. You have the advantage right yeah. now. But it's a movie, so they're not going to do that. I will say, even before this, I was already annoyed, like, which I can appreciate it now, but I was very annoyed that he went in there, like, not like usually he, I feel like he's hiding and like like he's gonna like sl when did he ever go into a fucking store and well, no, just he's in New York and that's, that's I know but that's what I was like all right where are we going with this uh, well yeah so he goes into the bodega and takes everybody out and and uh, and kills the fucking clerk with his own shot shotgun so we get a cool little you know uh, ghost face with a shotgun mm -hmm. couple scenes uh, and how'd they get out? Eventually they, uh, they trap them up underneath. Yeah, the, they, they kind of push, push the, the cabinet, the, the, the display. Display, yeah, like the racks over onto them. Mm -hmm. They push the racks over onto them and uh, he falls back. Gun goes off, they run out. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. And then. Around out the back and he gets away. Of course, oh, he gets away. gets away. It, okay. The keys were like locked on the guy that he killed his hip. Yeah, but yeah. somehow within a split to... <laughs> second, when they run out the door and turn around like that quickly, he's out the back door. It's unlocked. It's open. And he's gone. And he's gone. Yep. And he that just fast. had a display case on him. That fast. I mean. Whoosh. Ghost faces a ninja. Poof. At least so. in the first one, it was kind of like things were, we had comical moments of like the, like they showed them kind of crawling away and stuff. And yeah, like, yeah. I don't remember the other ones, how well it was, but this well, one. So anyway, after the, the, after Ghostface gets away, Sam and Tara go to the station uh, and we get introduced to Kirby. Yeah. Reintroduced. Reintroduced. To Hayden Panettiere as... Agent Kirby Reed now for the FBI. Mm -hmm. Agent Kirby Reed. At 30 years old. Yeah, which is fine. She's just a very small agent. Her and... Uh, her and uh, Jenna Ortega are only 5'1", so they're both like... 
I mean, small. Jenna seems smaller to me, but yeah. She's like five foot, five foot one, I think is what it is. So mm -hmm. they're both in the five foot, five foot one range. And, Very uh, tiny. Yeah, so there's some jokes made about Kirby being a young FBI agent, but still, you know, pretty believable that somebody, the character, it's believable that the oh, character yeah. would, no. would survive and then f go on to... And and kind of push through and be, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. follow up and be, oh, yeah. work no. with the FBI as like a, you know, somebody that hunts serial killers. That's mm -hmm. you know, very... Yeah, the, uh... So uh, we get caught up then with Gail as well, right? We get Gail and we find out about the book being written. and uh, uh, Jenna Ortega's character, Tara, punches her punches pretty her, hard in the yeah. face. She decks her. This well, is... Gail, Gail s slips the first one. Yeah. Sam I'm throws saying. one and Gail's like, ha-ha, I'm a little too like... fast for your sister. And then... Mm -hmm. She gets sucker like, punched. Yeah, yeah. And it was a hard one, too. <laughs> well, it's seemingly hard. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, it's hard as you get hit by a five-foot... And, and here we go. There's else. another <laughs> trinkle of Tara can handle herself yes. <laughs> throughout the movie. Yeah, Tara doesn't need her sister protecting her mm -hmm. anymore. It's the, uh, the, uh, the, the theme, the recurring theme. Uh, so, all right. So we... Uh, where we go next here? Mindy gathers, oh, yeah, yeah. So then we have Mindy's little dissertation where we break the fourth wall and get super meta and we start talking about all the rules and we're not in a, we're not in just like a horror movie. Exactly. Now we're not in a, fran a sequel anymore. Now we're in a franchise. Ah, she the is the new Randy. Yeah. yeah, she's the new Randy. So where were we? <laughs> ah, yes. Mindy's <laughs> dissertation on the rules of the franchise. That we will later on totally ignore because this movie just throws half of these rules right out the window. Yeah. The big one being the last one that she says, like, uh, this is like, oh, in a franchise, anybody can die. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyone you make, can die. That's right. You started yelling and I had to make you leave the room because you were. This is a franchise. The movie Anyone <laughs> can die. No, no. No. Only the. Off no, characters. no, only those introduced in this movie are going to die in this movie. Anybody that's been part of the franchise before, you're going to live. No matter how many fucking times you get stabbed, shot, pushed out a fucking window. I mean, one of them could have died. Like, they killed Dewey last one. Like, what and, and that was bullshit, too. Yeah. Don't get me started on the Dewey bullshit. I'm going to get to that in a minute, man. Oh, man. This is going to make some reels, too. I'm going to have to make some shorts and reels out of my Dewey rants and some of these other rants that I'm about to have. Because, you know, I am all for, for equality and, and women's rights and all that stuff. But some things just break the laws of physics. Okay? Oh, I totally agree. All totally right? agree. And I actually, I actually said this out loud, didn't I, while I was watching? I, well, first off, man or woman, but I was like, that little person, I don't know who they were. And it was it was a man. The stunt person was a man. It doesn't matter. Right. But they were still thin enough that I said, even if they were huge, like we're talking like huge, huge, a dead six foot two body is very hard to pick up by one person and, and toss and just toss. Yeah. There's not a lot of people that can do that. Not a lot yeah, of so we could jump to that one now. Yeah, let's we should. get to the Gale scene, all right? Because I'm calling bullshit. Mm -hmm. Bullshit. Here goes. Uh, yeah, we, this should just be a whole video on the bullshit. Let's just get. <laughs> we're just going to jump around. Let's just do it. Yeah. We'll bounce around. I'll cut this yeah. up later. And we like this movie, order. by the way. It was a very enjoyable movie, so don't yeah. think. This is the kind of graphic but, where we're yeah. like, we actually like disclaimer. This movie. We enjoyed this movie, but <laughs> but 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 so many plot holes, man. Yeah. So so yeah, we'll talk about the Gale scene and how, yeah, uh, six foot two. This dude is muscled her up. Boy, this dude like is her yoked boyfriend. up. Yeah. Gale's boyfriend is swole. He is a swole. They even made a point a to say all man. those muscles. All those muscles. Save you. Yep. So. Uh, do you, you realize that that is the ghost face? The ghost face is the girl. It's the girl ghost face killing, trying to kill Gail. 
She even says it at the end, at the, at, at the, in the reveal. She I says, when have, I stabbed yeah. Gail, when I was stabbing now, Gail. This is my only thing. It. Do we think that two of them were there? Like the They dad, couldn't have But been. the dad couldn't have been there, they and he's the only been. one. He's the, yes, no, and you're right. And the brother yeah. was with yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. He could not have been. That's why on the third watch, I was like, there's absolutely no way that is anybody but the girl, and there is no way she is... First of all, I mean, maybe she could get the jump on him and stab him. Uh, she but but shirt, she, like, grabs said. him and pulls him out. Like, there's no way she's even doing she that. She was in the taller than, the, the person was, was taller such- than shoulders. And this girl is 5'2", five, 5'3". Five, I mean, I'm 5'5", five, five, and that guy... I would have had to dude. have went like this. Yeah. So, and you're going to tell me this girl picked him up and threw him through that display case? through that, that Or even showing? grabbed him with a knife. Come on, man. To even pull him back. Like, it's that stuff that I'm like, no, this would have never. Now, if you never told us who was who or did not show us that even the boy, like, I... Well, I see, on the Dad. third watch, I definitely would have figured it out because right before that scene, we see that the boy, the, the brother is with them mm-hmm. and that the dad is at the police station talking to them on the phone or something. No, no, no. He's with them. They steal his car. Oh, that's so right. They're all in the oh, car. oh, that's right. They're all together. And he's and like, they're... no, don't. Yes, that's right. <laughs> that's when we get the first hint. Or, I was like, or... why is he walking so slow? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's like, don't, don't, yeah, yeah, don't go out there. Uh, Are you really going to steal a cup? We need to make sure that this is right. We can't just rush off. Uh, come on, man. They, they just pinpointed Gail's fucking house on the GPS. Right then, I was like, something's up with this dude. Mm-hmm. Something's up with this dude. But he would have maybe been more believable because you, when they show Ghostface pulling him back, he's clearly as tall as this guy. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, he would have been. That's the, like the only thing. The other two kids are a lot shorter. Like he the, would have been the one in the bodega, I would suspect. But he calls. Yes, holding the so, shotgun. So do we see yeah. him call her from the police station to come down? Or is he just on a cell phone at the, because then. No, he calls Because him. they leave to go to the police station and he's got to be out getting into, he must put his phone away from calling them to come to the station and jump into costume and go out and get to that spot. I don't know. I think that's... No, no, he's on the phone with the... Yeah, because he has to go and and call them as Ghostface now. Yeah. He calls them as cop, and this is where it's all a little tricky. Yeah, but you could get any of them to to call as Ghostface with the voice changer, realistically. Okay, realistically, but it has to be him that jumps out on them and tries to grab her, and she gets away, and he chases them. Yeah, the probably. Because he's the only All one. of that doesn't neither, bother me. Because that girl ain't like, cocking that shotgun and just blasting dudes and taking out big dudes with knives in the fucking... No, that no. little girl ain't doing that, and, and neither the son. those displays are about five foot, and there was at least another head on that. Yeah, I mean, there's no way yeah. that was... That was, that had to be the cop. But there. I think of those things where I'm like, that's a, that's a tall... Guy, because you can see, you can just, you can just see. Well, I mean, also, also in the Gale scene, uh, we get our our concussions oh. that I have made my other short video about. Go, go, go at mm. it. There you go. So, so Ghostface starts off chasing Gale, and she runs to the counter, and there, she grabs a cast iron skillet. Mm-hmm. And if anybody has ever held a cast iron skillet or yeah. seen one or fell or cooked with that motherfucker, that is a heavy, heavy object mm-hmm. that will kabong the shit out of you. And you she kabongs go, the fuck out of him, man. You would need a second. You would she need a second. She bongs him right in the face. The head, boom, head snap, and he goes down. You would and have a bruise, too. There would be bruising. There would be, you know, there could be a cut. You know, you would, you would have, a, and I think you would have a concussion. I would figure. Not that, necessarily. I, hmm, not on the first one. No. I don't know, man. I would think that, that yeah. thing's pretty heavy. Getting hit with one of those. The way she's like, you would not, full on backhand bong. No. Mm. No. It would not cause a concussion immediately. But let's keep I mean, going. Your, you your, would at your least, brain just has to rattle in your. Exactly. But it doesn't always rattle. Depending on how you're falling. So. All right, but well, it could rattle with from the prime. Oh pad. yeah, I know absolutely. somebody that just got kicked in the head lightly and had a concussion. Yes, I mean, and I've also like, known people that fallen off like buildings and not gotten concussion. So okay, well, chances are you would be concussed from a skillet hitting you in the fucking head, especially with the force that she hits him with on the backhand. She was like, like, 
you know, Billie Jean King on the backswing there. Bonk. Mm -hmm. And he goes down and is not even phased by it. And this is one of my biggest problems with the movie in general. The, the everybody just getting stabbed and hit and, and nobody gets hurt. Everybody just pops right back up and keeps running. And I like don't know Like instantly. If, and like, that, that's my the, point. Yeah. No fucking recovery time whatsoever. Not except, even a second. And, and there was, there was a one point. So, so Gail fucks him up with that John. Boom. And ah, I got to keep running because that didn't do nothing. He gets right back up and chasing her. And chasing her more and she's she goes out the door and then uh and then we get the we get the gun first right and then the bonk with the she gets him again with a with a with a vase yeah. across the face bam yeah. with the vase and 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 again not even a split second it doesn't even phase him i he made a joke right i made a joke even to you like i was like oh is he down because they show him down for like as he got hit Nope, he's not even just down. He springs back up and jumps over the couch. And he I was like... Vaults the couch like he was like, nothing. no, he's not. I'm sorry, and we keep saying he. It's she. It's the daughter. It's the oh. fucking daughter, which makes this even less believable at this point. Yeah. Don't so it's it. the daughter that jumps there, that, that's, no. that's hurtling no. couches no. and taking frying pans to the face with no bruising and no... Nothing. I mean, that would explain at least why there was no bruising, why we didn't see her until the very end when the reveal, and she doesn't a single bruise on her face not that's a what thing. yeah and they could have had that that would have been actually, because you don't see her through the rest yeah, of the thing, so it they could have sense. absolutely could have done that mm -hmm. they should have that so, would have made sense so she gets yeah. bonked there with that she gets uh, bonked there but and and it doesn't even phase her jumps up and runs and then we get the point where gail like hip tosses her and smashes her through yeah. the table and for some reason that's not that. even a blow to the head but that renders ghost face unconscious wow. for a minute that got, you know, lost her breath for a minute, you know, so. No, no, Ghostface wasn't, she wasn't even moving. She was no, like I'm unconscious. Just kidding, and, I'm saying, and Gail like, like steps on her hand and takes the sword, the, yeah. the sword, the, 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 the knife. <laughs> Gail steps on her hand and takes the knife and, and then we get the. <laughs> too long, too long. <laughs> you know, and. I was like, ah, rookie mistake. Yeah. So that whole thing when, you know. What would you do? Would you. Would you, I mean, obviously you would get the knife out, but would you, would you rip off the mask really quickly? Because I would. Because she had to, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, I would do that. Yeah, she grabs for the mask. Before I, I, I go to stab. Wait, well, wouldn't you rip off the mask? Really? No, I'd stab first and then pull the mask off. I would kill the motherfucker first. I wouldn't even hesitate. I would get that knife. I wouldn't raise up like this. I would just no. be like, bam. I would, or I'd cut yeah, the Yeah, it would have been done. I would, it yeah, been yeah. Done. I wouldn't yeah. even, yeah, yeah. There wouldn't have been no, yeah, none of that. No. And then I would have taken off the mask to see who the fuck was. You know, who it was. Yeah, that, yeah. All right, so let me talk about my other pet peeve about the bodega scene. After Ghostface kills two big, huge, big ass dudes, stabs them both with knives, takes them down. He's he's after these girls. Everyone's screaming, and the clerk comes up from behind the counter with a shotgun. Ghostface has his back to him. The clerk has him dead to rights. And every fucking movie they do this shit. Instead of just filling him full of fucking lead, shooting him, he says, hey! Oh, God. And waits for Ghostface to turn around! And then Ghostface dodges the bullets as he shoots him. What the fuck? Who the fuck warns somebody? Hey, I'm going to shoot you, Steph. He's a business owner. I don't know. That's hey, <laughs> I'm going to stab you. Hey, I'm going to shoot you with this gun. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> Who does that? It happens all the time. Oh, oh, so many movies. I, you know, the favorite one's The Punch. Hey, top down. Hey, buddy. Pow. Oh, my God. Stop it. This shit's so fucking stupid, Hollywood. Stop it. Oh, there's more dumb shit coming. Don't worry. Let's go to the apartment. <laughs> Ghostface shows up in the apartment. Mm -hmm. And uh, and he's going to kill the sister. Uh, he's going well, well, to fake kill the sister. We find out. Well, yeah. This is the it's, first time he shows up. It's one of the up. roommates, yeah. So he's going to... So he goes, they, they, they message her and then, you know, the, the fucking, he's in, they send, he sends pictures to all of them that he's choking out. Quinn. Quinn, sorry, yes. Quinn. He's choking out Quinn and he chucks the, the dead body through and we get them all cornered in the room and uh, the boyfriend across the window with the ladder and we get the, the scene where they're all climbing across the ladder and, and uh, I mean... What's that, her name? Was bleeding that, out worse? That was another thing. Like that was suspenseful. It was suspenseful, but 
Why was Mindy bleeding out from an arm cut worse than the Annika was from the gut, <laughs> the gut stab and twist? Like, like yeah. Mindy, we saw her always yeah, like blood, 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 blood. And, but yeah, but like, I don't know, man. There should they have weren't been, really showing a whole they lot. They were of not. Care. They were trying to keep a lot of that. And, and again, something that comes up later. That yeah, we we're talking we got, about. yeah, we got it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but that that gut shot, and, and then she's crawling across the ladder, and that was a great that was a great kill scene. Like that set piece on the ladder, that was like super suspenseful. And uh, Annika's death was awesome when she falls. And she didn't fucking, just splatter. No, the head hits the fucking. That was brilliant the way they fucking shot that. And I'm sure they shot it in slow motion with a stunt person kind of just like bonking their head on the side, like they had him. Uh, I could just imagine them like rigging the rigging the actress like this and just having to be like bonk as she's like lowered slowly, hitting like a fake yeah. top and you know a, a foam uh, you know duplicate. Uh, mm-hmm. foam prop top to a to a dumpster or something like that and then they cut to the body because honestly brains. what was that two three stories tops like mm. could live if you if you fell you break a lot of bones few ribs but could live yeah so they kind of put the icing on the cake there yeah, where with they... the head shot and, her, and the prosthetics on the they didn't shy oh. away from showing her face too. Yeah, they went right to like close up on the on the face of yeah. the uh, the prosthetic of the after the res, the end result of the and the the yeah. smash the face yeah. smash on the on the dumpster that was brutal. The head bleeds a lot, brutal. and there was a lot of blood coming out. So that yeah. was good. That was I like that. Yeah, but part. I figured there were also like her guts would have been bleeding the whole way across that ladder. Oh, that was my other thing that I kind of was like there was a couple little things in there, a little couple, but nitpick a little bit. The, the dresser. Oh, I was, knew that's where so, I thought like, you were going. It was light enough that, that, that Mindy was able to being stabbed in one arm and easily these they you know, just kind of fucking push the dresser in the way of the of the door. But but Ghostface, who was obviously either the dad or the brother, no, it had to be because the brother had yeah, the alibi. Well, Quinn the brother was, dead was, on the at, floor. was at Eco. It was at the Econ. He said that, but we yeah, don't but really he had know. a bunch of. Uh, he had. He said he had witnesses too. So I know, but I don't know, we him. don't know if they actually. Checked yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't either, know if they checked. So. It. But, but I suspect it was the dad, because he was the one that said, you know, I it was kind of hard to switch the body. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff. So that was the dad that was able yeah, to do that. Yeah, I agree. So that one kind of makes sense. He would be able to shake her off, because uh, I don't even think the boy think would be able to shake. He might I be could. To, yeah, he probably could. I could. Um, but yeah, there would be a lot more blood all over the place and everything. But but the also other thing that got me, yeah, he 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 struggled so hard once once Mindy left the fucking thing and she's already across and and he struggled so hard to get that door open even without anybody holding it there. Well, we gotta give it. We gotta yeah, make it more suspense. It, it took him longer to get through that door than it took him to recover from all of his head trauma yeah. throughout the entire movie. And he got hit with a. We didn't even mention yet the 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 knife block. Remember oh, when they go in? Because yes, this happened yeah, right before yeah. when Quinn gets killed. They she they go in. Sam runs in to grab a knife, and the knives are all gone. And uh, <laughs> while he's stabbing uh, Annika, she runs in with the with the uh, knife holder, which is this big Those wooden heavy, block, and they're heavy. Either. Yes, yeah. and clobbers him in the fucking yeah. head with it. There's though that was like the first one of the fucking movie of of Ghostface Among taking shots. A lot to the of head. other shots, yeah. So, yeah, there was that. And again, like, you know, Annika barely struggled. Like, she was more, it seemed like she was more scared to cross the, the ladder. I saw than, that than differently. It, than it was her stomach bothering her, you know? She, like, well, the only reason I, I disagree is because she was supposed to go next and she was like, I'm too weak, I'm too weak. Because if you're mm, losing blood yeah, that guess, quickly, yeah. she was like, yeah, I but promise show, him behind was, you. It was very quickly, but blood. then I literally, well, I said, there's no way anyone with that stab wound would even attempt to get, to across, get out, that. across that. Yeah. But adrenaline can do a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, so I don't want to say line, that. You could yeah. probably get a, yeah. you could probably, you'd probably be up there. But, but you'd be very weak it'd, You'd be pale, screaming. Yeah, yeah. Even if your body And I question shot. whether Mindy would even leave her. No. Know, yeah. Mindy would never leave her to be the last one across. She pretty much kissed her goodbye. That was like, yeah, you're going to yeah. die, hon. Yeah, I thought that, that was, was pretty much it. That I was like, I would never leave. Yeah, yeah no way. I wouldn't leave uh-uh. you either. I would push you across the fucking thing. <laughs> I would roll you over. I'd be like, here, get her. To the people on the other end, here, get her. I'd put you in like a burrito and a fucking sleeping a little bag. Long. And, and put you in, get her. Or you at least her. throw me on your back, I feel like. Well, well, it said it couldn't take the weight of both of us at the same oh, time. He so you would that. roll me over. Time. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'd set the, you'd, you'd get across there before me. No, I'd make I, sure that you got over there yeah, before especially, I did. Yeah, I, 
You know, well, especially if you were more injured. Like, she was obviously the more injured one. She wasn't getting across there on her own. I, I totally. Maybe just let her girl die. I That's know. what it was. Poor totally, Annika. <laughs> totally agree with that because that was, like, my first thought, too. I was like, no way. She would yep. just believe her that she, I'm, I'm right behind you. Yep. No. Mm-mm. All right, let's jump to a couple more because uh, we're running out of battery time and we yeah. want to wrap this up. We don't want to be at this too long. Let's jump to uh, the ending. Uh, let's get to our ending. All right, so, uh, yeah. I mean, it just had, like, all throughout this movie, that was, like, one of my biggest problems. People get stabbed, hit, so much stuff happening, and then and they just, there's no effect. There's no, like, they just get up and run. Like, there's nothing wrong with them. Like, nothing even happened. I don't like, even remember it when this happened, but Chad getting stabbed. I mean, it was oh, yeah, towards yeah, the end. Yeah, yeah. He got stabbed so many times. Blood is coming out of his mouth. Yeah, he stabbed, like, he stabbed, like, 20 times. You hear the dot, chink, 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 chink. There's two of them double teaming him from both sides. Chink, 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 chink. My this job. Was so dead. <laughs> My job is, is to damn, work in a surgery. Up. <laughs> I work in surgery, and I've done trauma surgery. Chad isn't just coming out in the end with being able to kiss a girl. Rolling the fuck yeah. out. Oh, we found another one over here. Yeah, of course you did. Because none of the main characters died. Because there's no stakes in this movie. Did you notice? Because I noticed. Like, he didn't have any, any like, nothing no. on him. He just had, like, a, ro- a little, like, robe on. And, and, then, and, an, and an oxygen mask. An oxygen. I was like, what? They wouldn't even do that. Uh, come on, fire. They wouldn't even do that. No, they would just... <laughs> He would have had to have been airlifted out of that shit, like they medevac back to a trauma center. Yes, you Because he would have had punctured lungs. No. He would have fucking, like, yeah. all his shit would have been That's diced That's the stuff up. that It's just so that fucking gets me. dumb. Yeah, it gets me. So dumb. And again, it sounds like I hated the movie. I didn't hate it, but there's just dumb little things in here that are going to piss me off. Yeah. Like in part five, you're going to tell me that a teenage girl killed Dewey? Dewey? No! A teenage girl didn't fucking kill Dewey, man. That yeah. part doesn't exist in my Scream universe. Oh. Nope. Sorry. Can we nope. pretend it was rich? Like, does, would that it, help it, a little yeah, bit? Yeah, maybe like, a little bit. No. Dewey's still alive as far as I'm concerned because no teenage girl killed Dewey. No. no. Physically impossible. And why the hell would they would they take him out of this franchise like that? He probably that? was like, yeah, I don't want to do this anymore. But him and Courtney, they get along with their kids. Like true, they, they, true. they get along. I don't know why he wouldn't. He really doesn't have a whole lot going on. The, he doesn't may, do a whole lot. Maybe, but I, th- I thought that was. Uh, he doesn't want to. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get to our other, some more. What other uh, crazy shit? Uh, how about when she finally lets her sister go? Oh, we got our buzzing little dude here. <laughs> She's like, oh, you gotta let me go, Sam. You, you can't gotta clap. let me go. <laughs> yeah. Sam, you gotta let me go. And she lets her go. She's like, I'll take that knife. I can deal with myself. And Tara drops down onto our boy, what's his name? Ethan. Ethan Landry drops back, and he's got a knife. And as she falls on him, she stabs her in the gut. And he goes, gotcha. And he even <laughs> says, gotcha. Right before she stabs him in the mouth, which is an awesome kill. Awesome kill. Awesome fucking kill. Awesome Stabbing kill. him in the mouth. And twist turn. the fucking John. <laughs> and then she says, die a virgin. Fuck yes, yeah. It's yeah. so awesome. So awesome. That fucking part was so awesome. But. Guess what we never see again. And they, and I don't know whether the directors forgot about it. I, I literally think that's what happened. I, because. I, I think that's what Because happened. Tara got stabbed in the fucking gut, man. But you don't even hear about it again. She's not being seen by the medics at the end. They actually sit and have the sister bonding conversation. Mm-hmm. Which she is not in She's any not pain. in any pain. Mm-mm. They sit on the steps of the, before the cops get before anybody gets there. They're just sitting there having a little chit chat. Actually, after her medical attention, she just had an arm sling on. And she starts walking down the street. Yeah, yeah. Well, and she, just well, an arm yeah, sling. Yeah. For yeah, her yeah, little yeah. Cut. And they let her walk home at the end of the movie. Her and her sister just walk off into the sunset because they let people who get stabbed in the gut walk the fuck home. <laughs> and people that got stabbed in the gut to run back up to a seat. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, Mindy, stab her in the gut. Lift her up on a fucking oh. train and jiggle her fucking guts around and shake that shit up and fucking blenderize that shit, liquefy it a little bit. But no, she's going to be stitched up and be able to run the fuck up to the scene of the final crime. Run. And then and be like, hey, hey, guys, hey, guys, all they ecstatic. Couldn't keep- <laughs> like, they couldn't keep me away, guys. Bitch, no. <laughs> no. 
No one is letting you do that, number one. Mm -mm. I have signed myself out for a kidney stone, and they gave me such a hard fucking time for yeah. a kidney stone. Yeah. There's no way they were letting this chick who got shish kebab well, leave the hospital. And, and no amount of drugs, I know they filled in, you can see her back as she climbs into the back of the ambulance with the crew after she does her whole thing. They added some ADR, some, some voiceover work of her saying, you can hear her saying, they put me so full of drugs, I can't feel anything. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, because yeah, they realize, oh yeah, well, damn, we have Mindy running up, she got skewered. Ah, just have her fucking ADR a line in there to say she's all full of drugs and that'll explain how she's able to run the fuck up. With her guts all chopped up. All right. Well, they covered themselves in a in a weird slasher film, fake world virgin, but uh, it's no, no, <laughs> no. no. Chad ain't living from twenty six. No, stands. Chad Mindy ain't, ain't running from up. Blood Mindy might live, it. right? But Mindy oh, yeah, ain't yeah. fucking running up at the end of the goddamn movie. No what, fucking did she, way. Uber? Or did she actually run from the hospital? I don't know. And, and Uber dropped her off a mile away so she could save some money and jog the rest of the way. She was Mr. Cardio while she was stabbed in the hospital, I guess. Yeah. And, and, and Jen Ortega's just dis magically disappeared. Her her gut shot, her gut stab just, just disappeared. disappeared. And just never even, you know, she just... She's not even hurt. Like, she's just talking to everybody. She's crying about Chad. She's kissing Chad. Kissing she's Chad. She's talking with her sister, and, she, and she's got the arm sling, but not not a single fucking word. No. Not a, no, no, she's not on a show. No, I, I think, like, one of my, you know, organs are punctured in any way. Like, there's a lot going on in your abdomen, just saying. Yeah. And we're probably forgetting some stuff, too, I'm sure, because there was so much more. The camera, she, uh, he gets hit in the head with the camera. Oh, that one, yeah. The one with yeah. Chad. Chad hits one of them. We don't know which one it is, but one of them gets fucking kabonged with this big, heavy ass TV camera from you know the uh, from the the museum. Yeah. It's huge. Smashes him, and he, and he says some line too. He says like something like, "Get ready for a close up." Does he say uh, like, something like, "I don't know"? If he didn't, he should have. Bam! He fucking hits him <laughs> with the camera. But come on, man, that that would that's that's another potential concussion, or at yeah. least like slows them down or like I've some mark on their face. Yeah, so we get the end reveal when they're taking off all the masks. One, Nobody has any cuts on their faces, no bruising, no nothing. All these hits nothing. that Ghostface is taking, all these punches. And, and and even, you know, Chad's even punching them at, at certain times. Like yeah. straight on, like like haymakers. Oh, yeah. And but and nobody has a bruise. So you get hit with a, a giant, like butcher block type thing. You, not even taken a red a, mark. You've taken a, 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 a cast iron skillet. You've taken a giant vase, uh, 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 80s TV camera, mm -hmm. all to the face, and then and then a couple of haymakers, and there's not a single fucking scratch on any of their faces when they take all these off. Uh, you're going to tell me that there's some kind of padding in the mask? Oh. It didn't look like it. No, you know, but I did. Some kind of helmet or some, some kind of special material the mask is made. It's Kevlar. I don't know, The man. mask is evil, I suppose. I did make that joke. I said, I guess they just, because they got a lot of cuts and bruises when the masks were off. Like, a lot. Like, their faces yeah, yeah, were yeah. cut when she and hits her with the, and... Yeah, she hits her with the brick. She loses teeth. Her face is all oh, busted yeah, up. And yeah. blood everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quinn's face is all mangled from a hit with a brick, but nobody's got a scratch from the ten other things that smashed yeah. him in the face earlier in the movie. So not, I guess I guess the mask has some type of a. No, a it's not supernatural, man. No, it's, it's not. not but supernatural. You know. This isn't. It's not Jason Voorhees. He's not Freddy Krueger. He's just a man in a mask, and that and I call bullshit. Mm -hmm. You know, on all I, those, I agree. I, I call bullshit. And again, now. Not, not that we hated the movie. No, we liked it. The, and, and I think because I liked it so much, it, it makes me more angry about these things. Okay, well, let's get off of all the many hits that actually didn't <laughs> turn into bruises and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I get that. The no killing, though. They break the rule. The no killing, yes. They break the, the number one, one. Well, the number three rule, the rule of the franchise is no character safe, no legacy character. She goes through, Mindy goes through, like, no legacy character, no returning character, nobody is safe, anybody can die, we can all die. Blah, blah, no, because nobody, well, I mean, that wasn't, died. But for the past movies, that those rules may have. No, but this so, movie, this she movie, said, I she know. goes out of her way to say this is a franchise, and the third rule of the franchise is mm -hmm. no character is safe. Yes. Legacy yeah. characters can die. This one can die. That she goes through the whole thing, and then we get none of them, none of them die. Yeah. They, and, and they all live ridiculously. Like, 
That's the worst part of it. Well, like, yeah, they okay, didn't just go to the that... hospital and go on like life support for a day and then they they live like they literally were just running and like okay, off so a little bit of oxygen will be good. Yeah, will I mean, be good. At, at least we did stab wounds. Will and, and and I did read. You know, I've read a couple of things where they, the director said they. We didn't want to kill any of the core four because we wanted it to be like a feel-good, uplifting movie at the end, and we wanted it to be about teamwork and family and blah blah blah. But that's not what a screen movie is supposed to be about, man. And, and you're breaking your own yeah. rules. You're yeah. breaking your own. You're setting the rules, and then you're not standing. You're not. You know. You're not delivering, and you're not. You know, adhering to your rules. And the worst part is, like, that's fine if you don't want to kill off your main characters. Then don't stab them twenty-two times on camera. Exactly. And expect me to believe they live. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. That's the problem more than anything. I mean, yes, I have a problem with the making the rule that legacy character can die, and we're going and, against it. And yeah. Gail shouldn't die because you didn't have yeah. Sydney in this movie, and you don't know if you're getting Nev Campbell back for the next one, and you already killed off David Arquette because you're fucking dumbasses, and you shouldn't have done that either. Never. But you already did it. So now uh, Gail is your only tie, current tie. You brought Kirby back, but Kirby was a part four. I honestly, if Gail's gone, like uh, Gail's, Gail's your what, only tie to the me cast. even on to seeing right. So you couldn't movies. kill Gail. You knew Gail had to make it. So when the paramedic shows up at her scene, ah, oh, I've got a weak pulse. And okay, cool. Gail's yeah. girl's gonna survive. That's where I got a little misty eyed too when Gail was. Uh, like, no, I knew she wasn't going anywhere. When, Gail, when, when she it. says that line, tell tell, tell yeah, Sydney, Sydney that he never yeah. got me. Yeah, I know. That was good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you can't kill Gail. Uh, Again, being the only tie, so it was. It would have had to. Have Honestly, been. I feel like they're going to eventually kill Gal in one of these, and it's going to be just all new people. Yeah, like, I kind of thought. Um, I think they're going to. Um, maybe Kirby could have died, but you know. No, because she. Kill her either. She yeah. could be the next one to. Since again, now they brought her back, maybe because they couldn't get Nev Campbell. Yeah. You know, and they yeah. were like, "Oh, what are we going to do? We only got one OG." Yeah, so. I don't know. I but guess yeah, we'll pretty see. much in this movie. Oh, the- well, okay, so let, well, let me just say this because we said we only have one OG. I made a note and I actually got very excited mm-hmm. when I heard um, the ghost face killer, Quinn, right, right. say, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stu is my favorite ghost face if you believe he's actually dead or if you think he's dead or something along those lines, which made me think, oh my God, because yeah, he wasn't that. actually dead. And like we didn't, we, they said it, but we never really saw him die. He was dying and mm-hmm. he was there. He could have been passed out, especially with, if you can get stabbed 22 times. He was only stabbed once. I mean, in this world, like, he's probably well, alive. twice or something. I wouldn't. I, if I would Matthew Lillard comes back, I'm going to die and then I'm in it. I'm in it for, for the end. Hey, Matthew Lillard, if you're watching, please come back because we could definitely use you. Yeah, he's not uh, watching. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he might be watching. Hey, well, Stu, come back and Stu, please. Because yeah, she does. She, has the, she th- says she has Stu Mocker's mask and she and uh, she, and she made her, a point and I was like. favorite if you, and she says that line if you believe he's dead yeah so i feel dead. like that's if that's not a tell that that something maybe they're in it's negotiations it's yeah. something there's a reason that they said that because people i've seen that on fan pages where people say that he could come back you know at mm-hmm. some point and maybe they would do that now yeah um yeah be, I, I would good. be i would well, be very nice excited easter egg that's, mm-hmm. that would be a good way to let's let's round out let's hit our a couple of our easter eggs while we're okay so we had, uh, I mean, that the, that was one of the Easter eggs in there. I mean, they had a lot of homages to other movies and franchises. Too. So like I brought up yeah. earlier when they were, evil it was the evil dies tonight when they were going on to the subway. That was great. Um, right? There's all these Halloween costumes well, you see and you Michael see Michael Myers. Myers yeah. And that, but you hear like a and bunch of friends like, faint, and then it like goes going evil dies tonight, <laughs> evil dies tonight. And I looked at him and I said, Oh my god! I cannot deal with another movie with people <laughs> chanting "Evil Dies Tonight." <laughs> that was the worst. Yeah, that was the worst. That was a good the, one. The uh, Samara weaving uh, costume or like her character costume for the bride. Yeah, you caught that one. Bride, the, uh, um, the bride from Ready or Not. Ready or Not. The yeah. Few, uh, it was her back. They kept looking at like the ghost faces on the train on the subway, or the subway, yeah, yeah. and it was her white dress with the. The shotgun, like, 
uh, over thing shoulder. over her shoulder, and it had her two little like uh, little, little bun buns. brain yeah, yeah. braid <laughs> buns, yeah. That's and it, it, she was blonde. I was like, oh, that's her. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. that's a that's a cool nod by the directors. They're because mm -hmm. it was no right doubt. in the foreground. Like yeah, it yeah, was they, right they, there. They absolutely, it was did very that obvious on purpose. There's a little callback to their own movie. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a very cool, cool Easter egg. I didn't even catch it. Well, that's cool. I'm surprised. Yeah. Uh, and there was probably there was a ton more in there. We had you know they showed Santa bites and. Do we see Freddy? I know we got a Jason at one point. Uh, we already talked about the Jason takes Manhattan. The Jason. Shining Twin. Uh, oh, that's, uh, the kid's name's Jason, too. The first, the killer's yes, name is... Yes, I did name. <laughs> that, I know, when you said that earlier, I did. I the, did very first, the very first, the very first ghost face who is a killer in the movie is named Jason. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. if that's not a bit of a, a call to... Uh, and, and then he goes back to his apartment and is watching Jason Takes Manhattan. And if I didn't even, a, I didn't even. Of an homage to Jason Takes Manhattan, then I don't know what it is. Didn't even notice it. I was, yeah. yeah. That's, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I just thought of that now while we were sitting here. Well, <laughs> I thought of that. Well, I was like, wait a minute, his name I was noticed Jason. that, but I didn't, I didn't actually <laughs> notice him, what he was watching. But yeah. Yeah. That was good. There was, what other Easter eggs do we have? Um, I did like, a, just not really an Easter egg, Kind of, but I, I mean, it was very in your face, but I did like that they showed the kind of museum to all the past ghost face. Oh, yeah, with, yeah. The museum was super cool and they had all like the. I was like, the, I, I want to go there. From number yes, one. Yes, yeah. And, uh, like, I wanted to, like. Yeah, that's where the camera was and they had. Like, I wanted the, to, the like, go there. From, yeah. uh, from Gail's cameraman had the. the I forget what the show was, but it was the show that uh, it had the name of the show. Ah, I forget what it was. But it was all like 80s-ish. Even Kirby's that. outfit was there Kirby's that she got outfit. stabbed yeah, in. Yeah. And the knife that she got, like, and uh, they you just know, it was added. Cool to, uh, the, they had the varsity jacket yeah. from, the, from the boyfriend in yes. the very first one. Mm -hmm. Was it the very first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what was cool was they had the duct tape around the mouth of the yes. mannequin yes, that the I fucking that jacket too. was on. That was mm -hmm. really, that was a nice touch. Because they could have just had the jacket and you might no, not have realized who it was. Yeah. But having the duct tape on the mouth was, a, was what you go, oh, that's the fucking boyfriend by the pool. Yeah, it was very, like, uh, like, I found myself even watching that scene like, I wanted to pause it and be like, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. oh my God, As yeah, that's by, right, that's yeah, Randy's, right. Randy's shirt from yes, the video store. Yes, yes, um, yeah. yeah. It was cool. Was very, I did like that. Really cool. I really liked that part. Yeah, that was very meta. <laughs> yeah, yeah, extremely. Um, and I did like how often they said it's a franchise so many yeah, times because yeah. it was kind of making fun of itself. In no, absolutely. Yeah. They definitely, you know, we're sitting here and we're nitpicking a lot, but we both really enjoyed the movie a lot as well. You know, it's... Uh, yeah. You well, can do both. Yeah. <laughs> As we get to the end, I do want to nitpick just one more thing because yeah, yeah. Uh, because we were our three killers are Richie's f from the last killer, Richie's father, mm -hmm. sister, and brother that we didn't know, and they're all like revenge killing on his behalf. Mm -hmm. um, we kind of were talking, and we said. You know, the girl and the guy were just roommates with them, and. Okay, maybe they could have used aliases, like we don't know their real names, but the father was a police officer. Mm -hmm. He was like a sheriff or sergeant or something kind of high up, a detective. You mean to tell me that at least Kirby, the FBI agent now, could not have found that this cop that she was working with was the last serial killer's father. Yeah, how did that? How escape? did that? <laughs> and and you have Sam that's like like so I, I'm so protective of my of my sister. Um, I won't even let her go to like parties alone. But then she doesn't do background, background checks check or on the guy or the girl who moves in to be the roommate. Yeah, no. So, but but and they all try that to, they try and address it by saying, "Well, we put it." It was very anonymous. easy. But the father is what really got me. You don't know that this cop is the father of a serial killer. Of a serial right? killer, like public who, knowledge. Like, who was an actual like like close with the son, appearingly. Yeah, yeah. So it's not like he was like this hidden like all the other ones, like Sam being Billy's illegitimate illegitimate daughter, totally believable, mm. and. Nev Campbell, like Sydney's um, character with, uh, what's his name, Roman, being her, 
estranged brother that was like hidden because his her mom was a you know a little slut or whatever that he called her um like all these and even the second one it was the loomis's mother oh, and yep. and the other brother and whatever like all those connections i was like yeah you wouldn't really know and it was kind of like building up to that point this one everyone would know that this police officer detective sheriff whatever you want to call him his son was at least a suspected serial killer oh well, yeah it's... like it would just have been known and it, yeah. it at least have been known by them like don't you do research on your boyfriend who just tried to kill you uh, was so protective wouldn't you do a background check on the chick that's about to move in and find out that's his sister or at least a google search maybe yeah that's it yeah that's it's all it took like literally it's all it took who was the family who who held the funeral especially in this day and age <laughs> like, you're not you're not hiding that information yeah. it's already out there like and that's what i was saying too like she was in part five she's his, she's richie's boyfriend she never saw his facebook page or his instagram with pictures of his family and his brothers and sisters he, picture of his dad and him him and his dad were supposed to be close he didn't she never saw she was his she was his girlfriend and never saw a picture of the fucking his dad and him that were so close they built this scream museum together like or even knew, hey, my dad's I mean, a I cop. Guess, I, if, if, I guess he would hide it from her if he was you just... That's But that's what I went through. Okay, that's fine. But after he died... It would, the family would, would have, out. it would have came out who his family was. I'm right. sure they would have had a funeral and they, they were saying that he was kind of innocent. There's all this back and forth. Mm -hmm. So it would have came out. It would yeah. have came out that he was at least somebody in power. Like, so, I mean, hear about politicians and, you know, their kids and oh, yeah, police officers' the kids all the time. But then they also bury a lot of stuff, too. So, not yeah. like this. He wasn't like... This would not... No, no he was he like a regular... Yeah, yeah. He wasn't yeah. like a politician or somebody that could get it buried like that. He wasn't that powerful or influential. He no. was just a cop. He was just, At the most, he was like a detective. I wonder where the mom is. Who? Uh, Sam's mom? No, Richie's mom. Sam's mom might no, come Sam's back. Sam's mom, he says. She's, no, she's no, no, gone. I know where Sam's mom is. She and says it, and I'm saying... Richie's mom, I'm saying. Richie's mom. Richie's mom's dead. Remember, he said his whole family was gone. I know what he said. That whole family was... I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. All right, Just let's wrap this one up. Yeah. So, overall, loved it. Loved to hate it. Hated certain things about <laughs> it. <laughs> Uh, no, nah, I don't know. I, w I guess I can't say I loved it. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed most of it, but a lot of it left me scratching my head. Um, yeah. No, yelling at the screen more like. Yeah, it. like the first time through, I didn't pick up as much, but I think on the rewatches, uh, there's a lot more questions that come up. Like it's a bit of a head scratcher when you get to the reveal the first time. You're like. Well, uh, hmm, okay, uh, uh, I guess. But now that I go back and watch it again and I'm like trying to put each one in the mask at the different points in the movie, I'm like, uh, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. You picked no. the wrong person at the wrong time even. Yeah. To try to make it work. It's Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I, it's tough to go back and rewatch this one. I guess it's <laughs> better watch just once and just be like, eh. It's just a stupid movie. That's kind of how I feel right now. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of suspense. I actually held my ears at some points where I was actually getting scared. Yeah, yeah. Um, the kills were brutal, man. When they had to, oh, let's, we forgot the doctor. The doctor kill. Oh, yeah. That was a good one, too. Dude, that was a we great one because. I can always edit this and chop it yeah. up and put it early. So the doctor kill, when the therapist, you know, knocking on the door, oh, it's a little early for Halloween. Halloween yeah, yeah. And I was like, don't get close to that glass. Don't get close to that glass. And and I was like, oh, was like, yeah. Wham, and then bang through yeah. the nose. Oh, I know. I liked how, I mean. Where was like here? It was like here. Yeah, it was like in the, in the, yeah, the yeah, nasal I forgot. I just cavity remember. cheek area. Yeah. Um, Ugh. There was a lot of face stabs. Yeah, 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 a lot of face stabs. Yeah, that was. Uh, there's some. Yeah, the, the ending with and the, the ending, eye. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. She finally gives it to him in the eye. Um, yeah. But yeah, there's a lot of good brutal kills in here. They got, and they don't shy away from them. 
They don't shy away from the violence and they don't turn away from, you know, they don't do any of that uh, fall off camera kind of stuff. You know, yeah. they, they actually stay on the body and the face on that, that dumpster fall scene. And uh, special effects. And we yeah. see all the, like, the, the, the knife going in and the twist and the, you know, there's a lot of really good, good special effects. They combine, mm -hmm. again, we're seeing a good use of uh, digital and practical effects because, you know, a lot of these are going to be, uh, you know, a lot of times when you're seeing those multiple stabs, it's a, it's just a handle, and they will go and put a digital and it, blade on. Yeah, yeah. The, the blade will be digital, and that's and you just get sound effects and the digital blade, and that's your stab stab. Wait, they don't use the the ones that like no. retract no. No. anymore. No. no? No. Oh, no. that was fun. I used to use no, they that. they look so corny. No. Oh. No retractable knives anymore. <laughs> we don't use retractable knives. Darn. Yeah, you get, uh, I mean, we still have rubber knives that'll bend, but usually... Uh, <laughs> then you bend it. It's digital. Yeah, you get... <laughs> that a, would be worse, you get, you get, like, your prop knife that's a real knife that's dull that you'll hold as, like, hero shots, close-ups, mm. and you'll never put that against your... You know, you'll never use that in any action scenes or anything like that. Yeah, you'll, you'll have a... If there's any chasing, running, fighting, anything like that, there'll be a rubber double that you'll use. That'll just be rubber painted. double. They'll be painted. I like that. When rubber you double. <laughs> bet you do. When you actually stab, they usually will just have a knife that's the hilt with no blade. Uh, that you'll, you know, hmm. ch -ch -ch -ch, or it'll be a rubber knife with like a little piece of blade, so it looks like the blade's only going in like halfway, and they can. Yeah. Ch -ch, and you just take it and. <clears throat> I never knew that. Yeah, yeah. The wonders of digital I know. filmmaking. See, I'm very impressed by that. I mean, they used to do it the old school way, and they would, or they would angle it so it just looks like you're yeah. stabbing, and we would fake it and all that. But now that with the dawn of like, oh, like through, through the armpit. Yeah, yeah. You stab in the <laughs> armpit. <laughs> you stick the spear in, and yeah. the, and your partner goes oh. uh, and closes. Oh. The spear goes in the armpit, and they go uh, and they grab it, and they, uh, and then it looks like the spear spear sticking out. Yeah. Like Pee Wee Herman's character in uh, Buffy the yes. Vampire Slayer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, good uh, good use of digital and practical effects. Lots of blood, uh, lots of violence, some gore. Uh, yeah, just too many people getting up and walking around after being violently yeah. attacked. Like not even <laughs> barely going into the ambulance. Like barely. Yeah, that would be it. But other than that, solid. Uh, I guess I got to go like three and a half. Knives. Yeah, we do stabby knives. We do stabby. We'll do stabby knives for this one. Mm -hmm. Or we could do like ghost faces. I'd do three and a half ghost faces. Whoop, bloop, bloop, bloop. Uh, don't do that sound. Three and a half. <laughs> <laughs> no, slasher, we do, we stabby do knives. Knives. stabby knives. Three and a half stabby knives. How many stabby um, knives did you give me? I kind of think, yeah, I think I'm with you. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm at three and a half. Yeah, I mean, like, I would say three if, like, the, if it wasn't for some of the blood and stuff. No. Like It'd the, be close to a four, man, because, like, uh, man, like, like. Th I disagree. Th three, two thirds. The first two acts are like a four. Two, first two acts are solid. The first two acts of the movie are pretty solid. Even with, like, letting, you got, you know, you let some of that movie shit slide, that phony ass movie shit. It's more the. You know, when you get to the reveal and and the ending with nobody dying, that's what kind of... No, no, me. things were... I don't know. I mean, it was fun. It was in the moment. But, you know, I still think I'm not going towards a four yet. Four is like good, good movie in my in my book. So I'm going to stick with three and a half. Right. Watch it. I definitely recommend it. Yeah, I definitely recommend uh, it watch. Yeah. Maybe right. I'll do a three. I'll do three slashy knives. All right. And I'm three and, and a half. half. Yeah. I'll do three and a half. Oh, there you go. That's uh, what you originally did. I think that's a good... I think that's yeah, good. Yeah, three and a half. The kills were nice, great. Because it's it got was good fun. kills, good characters. Also, um, anything with uh, the, like... The nostalgia the vibes nostal are strong. Yeah. The, uh, and there was a lot that worked. It was just, yeah, just the reveal and everything. There was a lot of question marks. But... Definitely a fun watch. Check it out now, Paramount mm -hmm. Plus, and uh, let us know what you think. I'm sure we missed some inconsistencies. Yeah. If you want to comment below 
and tell us what you thought of everybody getting up and walking from after being stabbed. Uh, if you want to throw uh, any of the, if you want to point out any of the Easter eggs we missed, throw them in the comments as well. Leave a comment down there. I know, uh, I know, I missed. I, I can't oh, there were so many. Yeah, there's yeah. so much stuff in there. Um, and also, tell us what you think they may do with the franchise now. Because yeah. I'm kind of curious because I got very excited at that, you know, Stu might be back. So Stu might be back. And at the very end, we are left with Sam leaving the mask at the scene of the uh, at the crime. Like she's not going to follow in her dad's footsteps and she's kind of giving up the... I know. Giving and, up the ghost face. But so what did I say? I said, oh, there's definitely a serial killer that wants to be a serial killer, but he doesn't know he's a serial killer waiting and just so happens to realize it when he sees that on the ground. So he's going to pick it up and there's going to be a whole other ghost face. Yep. And maybe it's Stu. <laughs> I can only dream, right? Uh, I suspect that the cop that you see walking past the towards the mask, he's like 60, he's like a beat cop. I think he's Stu's great uncle and he finds the mask and picks it up, of course, and instead of putting it in evidence, he says, hmm, uh, my great nephew used to have a mask like this. And he goes and finds Stu, who lives as a recluse now, uh, after being stabbed Swear so many to times God, and barely <laughs> living. And he gives him the mask and Stu's back, baby. I swear to God, if you were right, <laughs> if you were right, <laughs> I might stab you myself. <laughs> because he has a, a, a habit of being right about these things. Well, if you stab me in a sequel... If it's my first appearance, I will probably die. Mm. But if it's my second appearance, I will live. Damn. Yeah. He's going to live then. He's been here before. Yeah. All right. So three and a half stabs. Is three and a half stabs. Overall. Yep. Liked it. All right, folks. That'll do it for uh, Deadsville Horror Talk. We are no longer live. We are pre-recorded, as you see. Mm -hmm. So... Make sure you watch, share, like, comment, subscribe, boop, boop, hit all the bells and whistles and all that good stuff. And uh, come back and join us for more fun and shenanigans where we'll do more of this every week. And feel free to suggest some movies in the yes. comments you want us to review. We're always going to try and check out newer stuff. But, uh, you know, there's not always a, a glut of... New horror movies out there, although we've been spoiled recently. I know. Uh, sometimes we got to dig into the the crates. We got to go onto the shelves and pull out the DVDs or VHSs and watch something old and Ooh. go and do an old uh, an old terror talk, horror talk. VHS. Do an old horror talk episode. I think we should. Think we should. A little retro. We'll call it like uh, horror talk retro or something. You love that word, retro. Nostalgia. Yeah, I like this uh, All right. Well, all right. hey, shout out real quick to uh, Underground. As you see, I'm wearing my... Boop. Yeah, there you go. Stay spooky. Yeah. As I end all of our, all of my shows with my stay spooky Frankenstein shtick now. Oh, it's a new shtick. It's my new shtick yeah. for my shorts. Yeah. All right, we'll say goodbye, Steph Infection. All right, bye. And I wore the wrong shirt for this, but that's all right. Freddy's, a.k.a. the Jasons. It's all fitting, right? Nothing to do with Ghostface whatsoever. Nothing, but I... I, I have wait. bought her Ghostface shirt for Christmas. She owns at least one, maybe <laughs> more. I think more. <laughs> okay. Didn't wear them. I forgot. Knew we were doing this. Yep. Well, we'll just have to do an old scream at some point. Yep. And it won't be four. As long as it's not five. Because I will fucking burst a blood vessel when we discuss the Dewey death. Because that's bullshit. No. Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> Can't watch that again. So. Nope. Nope. All right. That's it. Scream hearts. Yes. Bye, scream hearts.